Hi, first graders. Today, we are going to be learning a new strategy to help us with our addition. This strategy is called doubles plus two. It's similar to our doubles plus one strategy, but this time we are going to be adding two after we double our smaller add-in to help us solve our problems. Miss S is going to read out some problems and I'm going to show you how to solve these problems by using our new strategy and then you'll get a chance to solve some problems on your own as well. So problem one, Sandra ate three chicken nuggets and five mini corn dogs at lunch. How many items did she eat? We are going to use Lincoln Cubes to represent our problem. So here are the three chicken nuggets Sandra ate and the five corn dogs she ate as well. Remember, we are going to figure out our number sentence, which is three plus five. We are going to then double the smaller add. So looking at three and five, which one is our smaller add in? Right, three. So we're going to group three up here and then group three down here. So three plus three equals six. Then we're going to add two more. We're going to add these two Lincoln cubes to our doubles sum to get six plus two equals eight. So that means that three plus five equals eight as well. Problem two, Ron found five ants on the playground and seven ladybugs. How many insects did Ron find? So here are the five ants and the seven ladybugs. Our number sentence is five plus seven. Which one is a smaller add-in? Right, five, so let's double that. We're going to group five up here and then five down here. So five plus five equals 10. We're going to ignore these two for now. Then we're going to add those two. So 10 plus two equals 12. So that means that five plus seven equals 12 as well. Problem three, Ian bought seven chocolates at the store. His mother gave him nine more chocolates. How many chocolates does Ian have now? So here are the seven chocolates. Then his mother gave him nine more. Here is our number sentence, seven plus nine. We are going to double our smaller add-in, which is seven. We're going to group the one on top and the one on the bottom to get seven plus seven equals 14. Then we're going to add the two Lincoln cubes that were left out. So 14 plus two equals 16, which makes seven plus nine, 16 as well. Okay, I'm going to pause this video. I want you to go find some Lincoln cubes or anything you can group together to add. Then I want you to use your new strategy to help you solve the equation. All right, Nick bought two books about animals and four books about superheroes. How many books did he buy? Okay, so go ahead and pause this video and then use your Lincoln cubes, your pencil and paper. I mean, your yes, pencil and paper to help you solve this problem. All right, now let's check your work. So our number sentence was two plus four. We knew that our smaller add-in was two, so we doubled that, so two plus two equals four. Then we added four, I mean, then we added two plus two to our sum, so four plus two equals six. So that means that two plus four equals six as well. Okay, Anna collected nine seashells at the beach and her dad collected 11 seashells at the beach. How many seashells did they collect? So pause this video and then work out this problem. All right, let's check your work. So our number sentence was nine plus 11. We doubled our smaller add-in to get nine plus nine equals 18. And then we added two plus two to our sum. So 18 plus two equals 20. So that means that nine plus 11 equals 20 as well. Great job using the doubles plus two strategy to help you add.